Hey guys, I hope your day is going well. Uh, welcome back to another video of Modern Metal Production. Today I'd like to address an issue that I've had up until recently. About a year ago I purchased an Axe Effects and it's an awesome piece of gear. But recording DIs, reamping, and referencing my tone was a complete pain. I'd constantly have to change my I.O. from my Sapphire to the Axe Effects and then back just to do things I wanted to do. So this tutorial is going to be for people who have multiple interfaces or want to link up their inputs and outputs of their computer into one master sound card. This tutorial is also not going to be logic specific, but mainly for DAWs that are on a Mac OS. So what is an aggregate device? It's a virtual audio interface that uses the inputs and outputs of more than one audio interface at a time. Why is this important though? Because it's fast and efficient and it takes no time to set up. For me, it's important because it's basically less time wasting on switching between audio interfaces and more time creating my music. So here's how it's done. You're basically going to want to go into your finder, go to Applications, uh, click Utilities, and go into Audio MIDI Setup. From here, you can see I've already created one, but I'm going to create a new one for the sake of this video. Um, create Aggregate Device. Right here you're going to find all your inputs and outputs that are connected into your computer at the moment. So what I'm going to do right now is select my main audio interface that I'm going to use. And this is my Sapphire. And you can see all the inputs and outputs showed up above. And then the other interface that I'm going to end up attaching to this aggregate device is the Axe Effects. The Axe Effects has four inputs and two outputs, the outputs being left and right. Output 23 and 24 in my instance are the DIs that you can track through and output 21 and 22 are the distorted or affected tone. So when I clicked to use the Axe FX, I saw that the drift correction was checkmarked, and this just ensures that the Axe FX will be following the clock source of the Sapphire. So we're gonna wanna head back into Logic and then go to Preferences and Audio, and you're gonna wanna change your uh, input and output to Aggregate Device, and then you can close this window. You can see when I go to my Aggregate Device that my Axe FX um, channel 21 and 22 are corresponding with this channel right here and that's basically just the affected tone so I can show you real quick I also have my Axe FX's input and output uh, into channels 3 and 4 of my Sapphire so if I go here it will be the same thing pretty nifty to be able to switch between one interface and the other just by changing the inputs of the uh, of your audio track. This is also cool if you have a mixer that goes into your built-in input of your computer and you also have like an interface such as the Sapphire that goes Firewire and you won't even have to switch between built-in input and your audio interface in your um, preferences and logic. So I hope this quick tip will help you as well as it helped me. Uh, if you have any questions just throw it in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you like what you watch, please don't be afraid to uh, like and or subscribe to me. Um, but yeah, until next time, see you guys.